G'day folks, I never meant to be on YouTube. March 1st, 1983, for my 11th birthday I get a Rubik's Cube. I take it to school and some kid scrambles it. The dream is over. I won't pick one up for nearly 30 years. Christmas Day 2010, I get a Rubik's Cube again and decide it's time to learn how to solve it. December 26, 2010, after getting frustrated with all the approaches needing countless algorithms, I stumble on a method requiring only two. It's Philip Marshall's The Ultimate Solution. I fall in love with it and after spending days interpreting his site, get so excited that I start a blog, Rubik's Ultimate Solution, which I later changed to Twisty Puzzling. I use the blog to show how to solve loads of puzzles, almost always using only those two algorithms. I need somewhere to store the videos which are part of the blog, so I start a YouTube channel. February 28, 2011, I join the twistypuzzles.com forum as R-Line. Over the next six years, I buy heaps of puzzles, make heaps of videos, including some with my cat, gain a bit of a following from people who like the idea of solving puzzles simply with minimal algorithms, and by early 2017 have 12,000 YouTube subscribers. Not a big number, bigger than none. March 27, 2017, in one of the stupidest decisions of my life, I delete all the videos from my YouTube channel and shut it down. Less than a month later, after realizing there are lots of people who still want to access my videos, I explore the option of starting a website. June 2017, twistandsolve.com is born. May 2018, twistandsolve.com dies. I shut it down and essentially retire from solving twisty puzzles and the twisty puzzling community. March 2019, after realizing how much I miss solving puzzles and helping others do the same, I discover my old channel name is still available. In April, I quietly start re-uploading many of my videos. February 2022, I post a thread on the Twisty Puzzles forum apologizing for my actions in closing the channel. I felt it was the right thing at the time, but looking back, I don't think it was. I'm sure I annoyed and upset many people. Since then, I make videos as I can and upload them when I feel like it. Lots of my old videos are on the channel, but are unlisted, sitting inside public playlists. Some videos have different intros, different branding. Some have subscribe icons, which don't do anything. The quality, especially of the really old ones, is not great. I want to go through and re-release a bunch of older puzzles and remove those earlier videos. If you're thinking, he already released this years ago, then you're probably right, but I want to have better copies on my channel now. If you've been with me from the beginning, thank you for your amazing support. If you're newer, fantastic. I guess now you know why the release date of every video on here is from 2019 onwards. Some of them look like they were made about 10 years ago. I never meant to be on YouTube, but I'm glad I'm here now. Thanks for sharing my journey. We return you now to your regularly scheduled program.